All right, off track. Episode five, I think. Uh, I'm already losing track, and it's only been a few episodes. Oh, I'm off track. Getting off <laughs> hey, track. Hey, we're redoing this, bro. Fuck that. We're redoing. That. <laughs> Everybody, it's off track. Episode five. Uh, we've got some good topics today. I'm joined by uh, the usuals, uh, Deacon and Pizza. Um, like I said in the last episode, we're going to start having guests on soon. Let us know who you want to be our first guest because we're still not sure who we want. Uh, we are going to start with a Deacon topic today. Deacon, hit us with it. All right, guys. What is the worst issue with, that you've ever had with your FGFS bike? I, I just want to know, like, part failure, mm-hmm. annoying situations... Oh, anything man. dude i have so many where do i start is it can it be like a recurring thing that just happens no matter what or are you looking for I, a specific I just I, i'm just looking for like so, like anything like it could it could be like the most common problem you find just like fluke incidents bad mm. production runs of something okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna i'm gonna take the reins and start yeah um, go ahead go ahead i fucking broke my toe once because my crank broke <laughs> my crank i did a wall ride and my crank <laughs> snapped right off and i broke my toe and i was out for like five weeks or six weeks um really disappointing uh shout out to bomb track cranks <laughs> not fun hell yeah and then uh, a recurring thing that just always happens with me is like i pinch dropouts closed so then it's hard for me to, I, I gotta like kick my wheel out to the max do you guys ever have that problem, or is that just me? You slam your wheel too much. I like a slammed yeah. wheel, brother. Yeah, man. Slam wheel is, is the only way to live, man. It's the only way they to live. They sell a hub guard that goes in your dropout so you don't pinch it close, BT dubs. Well, this is the first time I'm hearing of that. Thanks for the info. Yeah. I, I don't have that problem, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, slam- I'd be slamming my wheel, and apparently I'd be slamming my dropout too. And then um, a random thing that ha- last thing for on my end, uh, I just always like break random spokes. Like I'll do a one eighty on flat, and then just a, a spoke pings off. And uh, hey, you're you're not gonna talk about the glaring issue that you've been facing. Uh, what what is that, Deke? I don't know what you're talking about. With your bomb track, your bomb track parts seem to be breaking a lot. Your bomb track stuff <laughs> seems to be breaking a lot. We. <laughs> <laughs> weird coincidence there huh no man i have no idea what you're talking about uh you know i just want to i just want to put this out there it's not like i broke seven bomb track divide frames that didn't happen and i <laughs> i didn't break 10 pairs of their cranks i don't know <laughs> Is not this- to mention their hub their their hub why uh mr j ball hasn't been posting 26 clips recently well, i broke an axle that's any hub that's any hub. The hub itself still works, and there's no play in the driver still, and that's after like eight years of use. So you know we're get we're we're doing okay on the hub front. Pizza, what the hell you do you break all the time? I, uh, I don't break things because I'm not that good. But my personal problem that I always hate is uh, just dealing with a, a a loose ass chain, man. I like my shit slammed, and I like my shit tight as can be, because I'm not trying to feel no slack, because that just fucks like my pedals, you know? Just It's just a personal OCD thing, but, like, it's, even after, like, I, like, get my bike together, and I put it together, and I'm like, alright, sick, it's perfect, and then I get to ride in, and the first grind, it just, like, loosens up, and I'm like, god fucking damn it, like, that's I, why I, I, I man grip that fucking, that torque wrench, and I just, like, Get in there, you know, just to make sure that shit doesn't happen. <laughs> well, why does it happen uh, in the first place? Do you just not tighten it enough the first time? I think he does the no. me, Jay. Well, I think he does the me, where you just don't tighten your entire bike when you put it back together or some shit. You're like, you fix something, you just don't tighten anything, and then you go ride it, and you're like, oh. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, I do my deal, due diligence when putting my bike together, but I mean, I think it's just, sometimes, you, you know, the first the first grind or something out of the, you know, the first grind out the car is... It, doesn't isn't always the nicest one to do to your bike and sometimes it just happens to me. Hey, if pizza you want to know what else exists by the way uh it's, you can buy it on this place called amazon.com i don't know if you've ever heard of it it's pretty okay. crazy okay okay it's called a chain tensioner it's been around for a while 
Does that it's like, like a screw that makes it so your wheel doesn't move? Never heard but of. Does that like? But, <laughs> but does that like go in like a master frame? Like, does that work? Like, tell me, I've never used one before because I just manhandle all of my. Uh, it, well, this sounds bikes. like a pressing issue where it might be worth it to spend three dollars on to fix it forever. Does it fix on a? Ma- I asked. Does it fix? On, uh, does it work on a master frame? <laughs> I mean, I again, it's it's not something I've ever used because I I don't have this problem. So, uh, I mean, it's three dollars. It, it wouldn't be very difficult for it to to for you to figure that one out yourself. Oh, okay, yeah, fine, <laughs> maybe. One more j- uh, like jarring issue for me is it's not so much like it's like a bike problem, but okay, like for me, like you know when like you're putting your bike together right, and then you have to put your. Uh, you're putting your headset on and you're putting your bars back together and your stem on your, on your, on your fork, you know, and then you, you, you're trying to eye up that line, you know, where your stem is and your tire is straight. And then like, you're like, all right, sick. It's straight. And then you get on your bike and you look down and that shit's fucking like crooked like that. (laughs) The best secret, the best secret is you just ride it like that. No, I can't because every time I look down, I look down, I'm like, Oh God! Why is it like that? And I'll immediately get off my bike and start fucking with it. Yeah, I'm, just OCD. I'm telling you, man, I'm OCD like that, man. It's... Yeah. Bike is uh, put yeah. together, bolts aren't even tight. Wherever my shit is, is wherever my shit is. It don't matter. Oh, no, but it's so bad. Uh, it's yeah, the worst. sometimes, sometimes I do be riding my bike with like a little, a little angle, and I'm like, uh, I don't feel like fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, J-Ball's in the know, dude. Ain't no reason to bust tools out when your bike goes like, fine. Uh, dude, no, just you know like, what the problem just is? The problem, this down. is what the problem is. Great, this bro, is the problem is you be looking at your front wheel for some reason. You don't need to look at your front wheel. What's well, there? No, but, no it's just wheel? like... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like, after a while, I definitely wouldn't notice it. But it's more so like... This the drawing issue. I'm trying to make sure it's straight. In the moment, I'm like, no, I'm not leaving this spot until I make sure this shit's like... If I, my handlebars are fucking sitting straight, my wheels going straight. Not like a you know when you got the when you. Meanwhile, J Ball and I are like pizza, do do this trick, pizza, do this trick, pizza, no, come here, and you're just sitting like there, like unga, 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 <laughs> unga, 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 wheel not straight. <laughs> hey, whatever. Oh, anyways, yeah, that's that's those are my two jarring. Those are my two jarring issues. I just ah, man, that's and, funny. I've, I I. I for some reason expected either more issues from you or something because I feel like you're the most like peculiar about your bike. Your bike will be super dialed, but you'll hear hear like the tiniest noise, and you're like, "Wait, you hear that? What's wrong with Homie my bike?" Homie hears his bottom bracket breaking in, and he like freaks out, thinking his bike's broken. Doesn't ride for the rest of the day. He's like, "Dude, my my bottom bracket is creaking, dude. I need to, was I need that to get a new frame, there. dude." <laughs> I never said that once. He's like, my bottom breaker creaks. Get out like, Do you think I need new cranks Get and a new sprocket? Here. No, like, that's, okay, look. I actually, it's like, just, okay, it's look. just creaking, dude. No, because there was that for the longest time. Jay can actually, you know, back me up on this. Where every, my bike, I don't know why, it was just creaking all the time. Every time I would, like, try and get that hard, you know, um, push through with my pedals, it, she would just creak and creak. Yeah. And it was like that for the longest time. You know, I was like, ah, what the fuck? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just... Everything else is good. I'll figure it out one day. And I, it wasn't a bottom bracket because, like, my every time I put my pedals down, you know, I pushed my pedals, it was fine. And then, I, you know, all it was was I just needed to clean my bottom bracket and everything. Yeah, now it's good. <laughs> uh, Duke, it. Duke, man, what what issue do you face as the best bike mechanic in our group of of friends? All right, all right. So this is this is like a story time moment for me. So I I used to ride sevens. Um, I used to have like a super, you know, pretty radical charmer build. And I was a, you know, I was an enjoyer of the velocity rim. Which one? And if, uh, I, I had the P35 and the Psycho, and they both had the exact same problem where they would split at the seam of the rim and it would actually pop your tire if you weren't paying attention to it. So Damn. a lot of the old velocity mountain bike hoops are not actually welded at the seam. <laughs> so a uh, prime example was a uh, OG guy, Kevin Wong. He actually like broke his P35 at the seam. And 
we couldn't figure out why I kept popping tubes and everything. And, you know, I used to work at a bike shop. Couldn't figure out why my tires were popping, like, every day, basically. And it turns out that there's, like, a gap this big in my rim. And oh my it would God. just let the tube push out, and then it would pop my tube every time. Oh I'm God. surprised <laughs> you didn't see the gap. <laughs> well, like, you know when you're on sevens and your wheels are just kind of deleted? Like, you have, like, broken spokes and everything. Uh, yeah. So your, your wheel's kind of doing this and then going like this. Yeah. And then you, every time you true it, it's just barely enough to fit your 45s in a That's frame all you that needed. probably wasn't meant for it. <laughs> yeah. And then finally I, like, took my rim strip off and I, like, looked at the top of my rim and I was like, oh, this is, like, actually bad. <laughs> that, that yeah, that, me- that was a great one. That reminds me of the like time where I, you know, I was running like a, I was running dual chuckers and then I finally got an MTX and I was like, yes, finally no more roll offs. And then first day I did a bar spin and landed it sideways and it, it deleted my, my brand new MTX rim that I just got (laughs) in a bar spin off a drop landed 270. Oh man, that hurt so bad. (laughs) Hurt my soul. Another one, another one for all you guys out there who hate working on your bikes. Crease your chain, bro. Yeah. And also clean your chain so when I have to fix your fucking bike, it doesn't make my hands dirty. <laughs> my chain stays so uh, dirty, man. <laughs> uh, real, real question, though, Deacon, are you going to sell yourself uh, at the comp to fix people's bike? Absolutely you know. fucking not. You can go to a bike shop for that shit. <laughs> Well, if your rig ain't ready to go, by the time you arrive at the comp, you deserve to lose because of it. <laughs> nah, Deacon, and Pisa, you should not be telling people for me to work on their bike, bro. That's a, that's one person you don't got to compete against to win, bro. <laughs> that's nah, a W, that's baby. We're going to hire you as the mobile bike, bike shop station. There you go. You're bringing the Damn, stand. I'm in the comp, bro. Everybody's about to lose because I'm going to loosen their cranks and shit, bro. <laughs> you got to fuck your no sabotage, doubt. everyone. <laughs> I'm going to keep all the volcano washers in my pocket, dude. They're going to be rolling out when I'm in the oh, on my run. <laughs> You're going to pop like a link in their chain. <laughs> no, I'll just I'll just put I'll take the volcano washer off your 48 spine crank and I'll put your bolt back in. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> Ouch. Fucked up. <laughs> all right. Okay, oh. my my second thing that I hate that always breaks this an absolute pain is adjusting my fucking brakes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just too complicated. It's too complicated for Especially me. Especially when your wheel is untrue. It is, like, literally impossible to get them to pull right. And I don't know how Matt does it, but Matt's brakes always work. Mm. Mine are literally heaps of garbage that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... That's terrible. That sounds, uh, that sounds miserable. Uh, no brake gang. And Matt, Matt okay, Bastard baby. runs two brakes. Uh, too much. Two. I had two. It was too much going on. Too many things to adjust. Too many things to fix all, all the time. Took, took the front ones off. It was too much. Couldn't do it. That makes sense. What, what do you enjoy having more, a front brake or a back brake? I like the back brake because when I pull the brake as an emergency, I don't flip over. <laughs> Smart. One time I did that in element, or in middle school, I like... I was like riding my bike by this like group of cool kids. They were like older and, and I was like trying to be friends with them. And then I pressed my front brake and just flipped over the handlebars. Ooh. Um, it was traumatic. De- Ooh. Demon origin story. Yeah. That was my two. joker. That was my joker moment. <laughs> then I was determined to get good at riding bikes and show all the girls and cool people that I was cool. <laughs> Yes. Jable, I'm amazed you haven't said sprockets. I feel like you have the oh. hardest time with sprockets out of any person. <sighs> you know, I do break a lot of sprockets, but I do be riding thin sprockets, so it's kind of my fault. And you know, it's all, I can only blame myself for that. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't want to bring that one up, but I do be breaking sprockets. And yeah, you do. You do be breaking sprockets in like a catastrophic way. They always like, yeah, the w- it's l- never a small <laughs> crack. It's just the whole it's, thing goes. It's the whole thing the just, one you just broke is the, yeah, the <laughs> one you just broke, that Colt one, Lily, all the arms broke off after doing one little air out the quarter. Yeah, I just oh, landed weird. Insane. 
Homie need a, a Odyssey sprocket, bro. Lifetime warranty, dude. Hey, no, no. Homie needs the new <laughs> up and coming twenty eight tooth from Fixated. True. Just saying. Fixated. Just saying. Fixated FGFS. Fixated dot big cartel dot com. Snag one today. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I finally got mine on. You'll see it at the comp. It's pretty fire. Yeah, how you not liking that? It's gonna be, shiny, not huh? it's gonna be shiny. Not coming off all shiny. Not coming off my spindle. <laughs> This, that shit's staying on that spindle forever, brother. Yeah, never coming off. You still Love gonna have it. the plastic on it, dude. Yeah, yeah. True. Uh, no, it's on there. I ain't talking about, man. j Paul, watch me put it on. We sweated together putting fixing our bikes that one weekend. Get That's out right. of here. Beep. That's right. What I was know. I doing? Why was what was I fixing on my bike? Uh, I think that was the day you were actually. F- uh, you're putting together the Cortec. Oh, that's right. That's right. My new Cortec Prototype V2. That shit's fire. Coming out 2023, Three. I think. That's, that's <laughs> Maybe. If we're lucky. But seriously, that shit's been fun. I got to get a Tark session in with you guys. I got to get You're, a Tark bike. <laughs> everybody tell Pizza to go buy a Tark bike. He says Someone. he has one. Someone give me a Tark bike. I'm just kidding. I ha- I'm, I'm telling you, I just don't have the time right now, and it's in my parents' attic. Dang, homie's playing. Play, homie's playing video games, but he doesn't want to ride his bike with us. Hey, Overwatch Two is mad fun. Okay, I'm having a good time. Yeah, what is? Everybody shake main... their head. Everybody shake their head collectively. SMH. What's your main game right now, Pizza? Uh, right now I'm actually having fun. Like I said, with Overwatch Two, uh, that one's fun. It's free to play. You can add me. Uh, I am a horse main, Arissa. Yeah, that's what I'm playing right now. I'm having fun. Suck my ass, Deegan. I'm not playing Rust anymore. <laughs> I tried, okay? I tried. You're not playing what? Rust. Oh. Look at couldn't, that couldn't play with the face? big dogs. Couldn't play with Bro, the big dogs. Bro, I tried, dogs. and then, tried to play with and the then after day two, you got depression because the Pizza, what's your died. level in Valorant again? What's your level in Valorant? Just, just for everybody to know. Um, <laughs> what is that? What, what is it? What, what, you're my, talking my shit rank, on, you mean? Uh, my, you're my yeah, rank? What, your boy yeah, is grinding yeah. out the ranks of iron, okay? I'm at silver two right now. Okay, I'm grinding, all right? Are you, are you, hard, are you hard stuck? Everybody, everybody no, smells? not yet. I'm a soul player, okay? Smells like washed. Okay, that's all I, I need to know. Get, I, you know what? Damn, L plus ratio. I'm over you. I'm over you. L plus that base that D can try to. Jayball, Jayball, can you uh, can you make a sucking noise? Because it sounds like somebody sucks over here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's you him. know what, you know what you know what Deacon? There you go. That's what you get. Bit on. Damn, you got him. <laughs> uh, let's talk about um. Let's talk about. Uh, pizza's topic pizza give us your give us your topic uh, yes sir uh i got so my topic of the day is i want to hear your top three if you don't you don't have to give me three but you know three would be nice um top three solo edits um which one solo you love edits. solo edits yes solo edits. solo edits no group edits no nothing uh, like that question um all right does a dvd section count no i want on youtube by itself it was uploaded to youtube not on dvd section so i want to hear those just like what if how we're talking ripped about... it from a dvd and uploaded it on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> does it count if it was ripped on to fix your archive all right all right so uh, only only web specific edits no dvd sections no full length correct. sections correct correct oh man uh can someone else go i Hard need to think one, about man. this yeah, pizza. I think you have to go first on this. None no, I got it. No, that. I got it. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, so my top three are, you know, they're kind of going to be, um, they're kind of hit classics. Uh, first, first, which is kind of one of my, I think I've, I've watched this one the most, um, is the Tom LaMarche uh, Specialized 2012 with the good vibes in the beginning. You know, he's at that school and he's it's like the... Dun. Oh, dun, oh, it's the it's the HD one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's the that's, that's one the of my one favorite. made by Tom Briggs. Right, that's right. Big chiller, big vibes. I love that. Um, great at it. That wall ride he does in there, crazy. Uh, the, the curved one. <laughs> yeah, the curved wall ride he does. Hey, fun fact: wild. he did that same wall ride on seven hundreds for big money. Oh my god! Yeah, big money hustler. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's a fire uh, DVD. Go go watch that is, shit. That is, shit's good. 
Um, okay, so second, second would have to be it. Might I might actually steal yours, Jay? Because it's probably one that you 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 watched. I think you mentioned this before. Mm-hmm. Was uh, Antonio Wolf Sprung 2012? Mm-hmm. Fantastic edit. Fantastic edit. Fantastic <laughs> edit. That's a good Fantastic. edit. That's, that's, that's a, a good real good, good edit, baby. edit. It's a real good edit. I would buy that for a um, dollar. That's that's a good one, right? I buy I that for two dollars. <laughs> two, uh, and then three. So mine are time, kind of normie answers, like I said, but they're great. They're great ones, and they're really just like good defining ones. Um, last one, you guys are never going to – this is coming out of left field. <laughs> you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. Give it to me. Give it to is me. Is the uh, Wolf John Joe McKee 2012 edit. It's <laughs> not How's left that, field. That, How is that on a left field? <laughs> that's so. That's in. That's, that's the joke. That's the. That's the pitcher, brother. That's shortstop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love um, Joe coming. You know, even even though it is, it's weird that you know that edit is kind of has some skate park clips because you know we were uh, weren't against that back in the day. Right. But you'll see. You know, at McBride, he goes up. He doesn't just you know Manny uh, uh, Willie 180 down it. He goes up it. He hops into the U from yeah. flat and just <sighs> yeah. And Joe, man, yeah. Joe, and, Joe in that time where those are also also in that edit. I'm pretty sure it's that edit where he airs the quarter pipe to quarter pipe gap like across the top, which is yeah. like fucked. Like yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, that's right. He threes it right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he threes the court. That's that. Uh, that's that one up north by River Riverside. I think. I think so. Yeah, he was that. That's that. That's a. That's a good. That's a good classic right there. That's a good classic. Yeah, the five. But yeah, those are my three. Uh, five but under. I think I. I yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but I think my out of all that, I think it would be the Lamar shed it. Um, just because that one. That one is, is a big chiller. And okay. I say one more just because this one always lives in my lives in my head rent free. Yeah. But it has to be the <laughs> this is <laughs> what <laughs> this is the is also a Tom LaMarche edit, but it's the raw one where at the very end he fucking he clips that yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't uh, <laughs> you just can't uh beat that one. No, that's yeah, that's the yeah. It's, yeah, that one is that one's fucking hilarious. That's a great edit and then just that last part is just is is fucking quality. It's funny as shit. I I lose in my head rent free <laughs> every time I do a trick and it's scary. I think of that moment. I know that's not the same exact thing I'm doing, but it just lives in my head rent free that that'll happen <laughs> if I don't do this trick right. Some way somehow I'm gonna <laughs> just flip like yeah, that. Yeah, which yeah, which fucking what? will never happen to you, pizza. I promise you. <laughs> okay, that's what I mean. Like it lives in my head rent free, but it's just so funny because it just exactly it would never happen to me. It just like I think that's like a that's a staple in the fix your community moment. Like everyone knows that fucking moment. It's fucking that's true. Quality. That's true. Um. Okay. So I did mine. Yeah. I'm ready if, if, um, if Jay Wall's not. Ready, yeah, Jay Wall, if you need more time, I'm ready. I'm ready to hear. Uh, Deacon, go here. ahead. Uh, all right, all right. So first off, first mm. off, it's going to be Oscar Khan's Welcome to Raw edit, baby. <laughs> Is it the, uh, yeah, it's the one where he was in New York, right? Yep. On the yellow it, frame. It's all because of, it's all because of the world's sketchiest barsman gap of all time. Like, it was just oh, like, yeah. It was like the most hail mary trick of Dude. all time. It, he, <laughs> yeah. like, he wasn't even amazing at bar spins, which is the crazy. He part. was not a bar spinner, and I remember seeing that clip and him just like barely hanging on. <laughs> Did, oh, didn't like, he? Uh, didn't he land sideways on one of the attempts or something? Yeah, he like completely died. <laughs> Dude, and then, just just that. That's such a good pick. Uh, the end when he puts his foot through the window. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dude. I was, and that frame, oh, just fuck. that frame was super sick. It was the fourteen Bico yellow frame. It was just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Th- that one. Um, that was the twenty nine er prototype. It never came into production. Such a cool looking bike. Such a good color. I know. So sick. All right. Great choice. Number two. Number two. Well, two. Number two. <laughs> Joe McKeague's B I C I edit. Oh, B-I-C-I-O-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
where he bunny hops over the fucking hurdle. Crazy. Incredible. Incredible. That's that, a great that's a great pick as well. Also also the fact that he did that entire edit with like the worst straps I ever made. Like, Dude, BC concept straps were fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, absolute garbage. That? So bad. <laughs> but yeah, the the song in that too, fire song. The filming was was like you know, homie cam, homie dad yeah. cam. Someone was just holding a flip cam. <laughs> For real. The vibes were good. Yeah. The homie at the homie at Paramount too, vibin. It's good at it. And finally, everybody's favorite edit. Everybody's favorite edit. Eric Buckets, track Tuesdays, Houston Fix 2009. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Eric Bucket, fantastic. Fantastic deep Japan cut Theory? that I think a lot of people don't know about. Japan Theory, I'm pretty sure he did a truck in it, or it might have been a full cab bar. I know he did like a 360 bar spin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did a full cab bar, but he also like the that edit started with a 180 bar, and nobody was really doing 180 bars yet. Mm-mm. Also, not to mention he's riding like some surly like straight fork. It's not even like a trick <laughs> fork. Like yeah, he's he's riding like a regular track bike with a 650. That's true. That's true. The song was fire. Yeah, the river, it was filmed river with the VX on fish. This is good. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that edit, go watch it because it'll be your new favorite. Yeah, there will definitely be some clips uh, playing over our podcast. So if you're listening audio, go watch the uh, video version, and uh, you can see some of the clips from it, or just uh, search it up, and you'll you'll. Also, I'm a, I'm gonna talk some shit right now. Uh huh. Mm. Some of you guys writing trick track right now still aren't doing tricks that this dude did in 2009 you should probably go watch that edit that's facts that's facts <laughs> it's unfortunate homie did this in 2009 bro that's true um i have i think i have my uh i think i have my picks all mm-hmm. right i'm ready i'm excited um let me just double check i'm i'm okay uh Number okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate the ones that you guys said that I would have picked. Okay, so I was going to okay. also pick Oscar Con Raw because <laughs> mm. I love that video. I was also gonna mm. pick Tom Lamarche Raw on the 700s that Pizza said. Uh, so I'm uh, discounting those. Um, one of my favorite videos is Raw Antonio video, but the 2011 edit, not the 2012 Ooh. one. Mm-hmm. You know which one that is? Mm-hmm. Where it's yes, got sir. the in the year twenty five twenty five or whatever. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I love it. The edit I mean the filming was also kind of like homie cam, you know. Uh did, did, did Matt do that? Did Matt do that one? No, it was uh Sam Erickson. Because mm. that was before he was in uh SoCal. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. So he was still in Milwaukee for that one. Uh that's pick number one. Uh, pick number two is actually one that I thought one of you guys would say, but it's uh, Steven Jensen's Thrasher part. Mm. Like, oh, iconic. Yeah. Dude, the big L, right. big L, put it on. Like, that for one, of one got me into big L. Two, made me want to ride fixed gear freestyle because I was still kind of right. like a track, track bike kid when that came out. Right. Uh, and three, like it made me want red euros. <laughs> I to this day, red euros is goaded. <laughs> right, know. right. I wanted like I did. Ah, uh, he's that edit still holds up so well. Great edit. Like, Great he, edit. He's so good. And uh, I I have two. I have two more videos. So instead of three, I'm gonna pick four. Uh, Jonathan Davis into the unknown. Ooh, dude. Ooh. That video is so okay. fucking metal. Like. Yeah, it's got a deep. it's got that a sure like good. a a nice deep metal track behind it filmed on a on an absolute shit dad cam and he's just <laughs> sending it on so many things like Jonathan jo- Jonathan Davis one of my favorite most underrated riders of all time JD, I have one more JD. I, I, I got one more but you can okay I, let me, I remembered mine. let me get to my one more and then you can get yeah, to yeah, your yeah, one no, more. no 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 of course of course of course of course uh i just want to say it, I just want to say it. miles mathiah elevated engineering video 
You That's guys, a deep cut. You guys remember that one? <laughs> yeah. Dude, That's he, a deep cut. So many big dirt jumps, like huge dirt jumps. In uh, what year did that come out? I think it was uh, 2000. Oh, Finch? It was 2011. 2011. Mm. And he did like some big nose manuals, just super steezy. Like, because I, I remember watching him hit dirt jumps, and then I watched Joe hit dirt jumps, and then I tried to go ride dirt jumps, and it doesn't work. <laughs> like, it, it just, it's just not a thing. It's so much harder than it looks. <laughs> uh there's a dude there's a dude uh riding i can't remember his at off the top of my head but he's been riding dirt jumps lately uh y- your not yori but yori has been hitting sick dirt yeah. jumps um dr mcstuffins do you know who that is i i posted him on smc not that long ago he was hitting i posted him hitting dirt jumps he's been killing it um I, pizza let's hear that fourth right. or that fifth one because he already <laughs> said four did I, for, right, there's too many. Okay, there's but so many. Good I, ones. It was wrong to say narrow it down to three. But this one I totally forgot of, and as you were talking, I remembered it. This one is fire, <clears throat> big fire. Which one? Ready, ready, ready. The do birthday, dude. Egg. I knew it. I knew. I knew you were gonna say oh, that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dominus yeah. not fire. When the ice bar, and the tooth bar, dude. and then the wickedness at the end. Yeah, oh, and it was on a booster. Yes. Yeah, a booster, quite possibly like the worst, <laughs> one of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great frame, but Do made it look good. Do made me want to want a booster. <sighs> he did Man. with the booster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like what? He, dude. All right, yeah, all right. Since everybody else got their bonus, I'm <laughs> right, I'm okay, taking sorry. this yeah. on a technicality. Uh huh. Mike's word is bond part because Slum uploaded it to YouTube six years ago, so I think it counts. <laughs> Wait, I you know what would be one of my picks is Mike Schmidt's uh, MTS Fall video, 2011. Oh, dude, yeah, that's disappeared forever. Nobody can ever watch it again. <sighs> the Big burl sash. edit. Oh, Big how sad sad. is that, man? We oh, you can watch his B roll from that edit still. That's still up. But you can't watch his full edit. It got deleted off Vimeo, and Mike didn't have it oh, fucking God. backed up on a hard on a working hard drive. Oh, it kills me, man. If anyone oh, listening to this so. has that video downloaded, please, I will do unspeakable things for it. We don't have to tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great edit. Oh, but also, Mike's edit. It is. It is. There. Those are because all of Mike's Mike's web edits are gone. All of them, dude. Canned. Who is Mike Schmidt? MTS fall off 2011 so many grime videos like the death of barcelona grime video is gone the keep them spinning at cunningham park video is gone oh there's just so many what? lost gems that's what i'm oh, saying it's like big sad that's why i have to maintain as mike's number one fan because you know like people need to know about this. you gotta keep the memory right. alive mm-hmm. <laughs> i gotta he's goaded so i you gotta you gotta you know you gotta give no, him the he push has, he, he has to come down to long beach he has to he has to come down to Long Beach in November. Uh, Man, he's, he lives far, dude. I don't know. That's a big so, ass. So many, so many. A hey, pizza, buy his ticket then. I got you. I got you. I'm going <laughs> to start saving. A month away, I'm going to start saving. I got you. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I think we can uh, smoothly transition into the last, or the last of our topics of the day. Um, is uh, We're going to refer to the infographic i posted on uh suck my cog instagram a couple days ago it's about style style and fixed gear freestyle what does style mean who's got the best style and we're not we're not talking fashion necessarily we're talking like smoothness on a bike we're talking steez like if you had to pick three of your favorite style riders who would you pick uh deacon give it to me number one i'm going with tepe nasty yep the yep. skids he's he is like one of the main reasons why to me like skid 180s skid to to like revert skid to slider like yeah going super fast and coming out super fast out of all of his tricks no matter what he's doing man and i know i know it's like a stark contrast to what i do but it's just like the, the way that he rolls out of stuff is so good like well we do same for we, me. we are attracted to the stuff that we can't do right like i fucking hate watching people do bar spins <laughs> not really not not really but 
<laughs> Damn, homie makes me bar spin and wow. he even hates it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Imagine how I feel. What All right, number two. Number two. It's Mike, bro. Mike Schmidt? Mike has... Mike has Mike has the style of the absolute monster truck on everything. He right. just like like you know how pizza freaks out about pedal setting or anything. Mike doesn't even have a pedal set because it doesn't matter. He rolls in whatever <laughs> crank is forward, puts whatever crank down, and grinds on whatever side of his bike. I literally thing is don't on. even understand. That's I, don't, true. I have zero clue his, how the man does his it. pegs, sprocket, pedal, and cranks be touching everything. <laughs> Bottom bracket, headset stem should <laughs> anything anything that slides on the ledge grinds and that's how he rolls out of it bro it don't matter yeah he somehow makes it work <sighs> that's a good pick dude and my pick. final pick i'm gonna say Corey, just because he has that like huck style that i just love like <laughs> some sometimes Corey, reason why will just pull some shit out that you've never seen him do <laughs> dude he is my I, I think I can confidently say he is my favorite rider right now. Because he, he, you just like see him, he'll even ride a, like a 26 bike with pegs and he'll do like feeble hard and stuff like that. And he'll just, Ooh, he'll just be real. laughing the whole time. Yeah. I remember seeing that too. He pulled, I, I think he pulled up on Jay's bike and he'd like, yeah, he just pulled a feeble hard. Like I was like, Cor- Corey, what? Corey is cracked, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Corey, Corey do Corey. be cracked. Yeah. Uh, he has an edit in the works. Uh, please fucking edit it, Corey, because I know you're going to take a year to get to the footage. <laughs> and it's already, you've already got fire clips. You've got enough for a video. Put it out, please. Uh, is, is that three? You hit three, right? That's my three. That's Mike, my three. Mike, Nasty, and Corey. Uh, I will go. Um, I have, I think I have my picks. Uh, one is. Um, uh, Joe McKeague on 700s. Wait, you, you're bringing that in on a technicality? <laughs> Does that have to be someone riding now? Uh, can you post a picture of him wearing the 700C Don't Limit Me tank top, please? Uh, it was a shirt, but yes. No, uh, they sold it as a tank top. Oh, I don't know about that, brother. Pretty but sure they did. Um, okay, but if I'm, if I'm talking about... In all of history, it's it's Joe on seven hundreds, Booth be on seven hundreds, and <laughs> um, I have to pull out the infographic again. I can't. Booth be all day. I can't remember my. Booth be all day. Booth be all day. Do you guys remember Booth be on seven hundreds though? Yeah. Like I feel like Booth yeah. gets overlooked a lot, and I just want people was, to know that I was like big big jealous and then go out and watch be able to watch him ride in the bay that weekend big set big set set. it it was a good time and you should feel left out i am big fomo big fomo the fomo the fomo was real ah there's so many good people to pick from i think pizza can you can you go while i figure out my third yeah so i'm surprised i was my first one was actually someone i'm surprised you didn't say was gonna be uh matt reyes just because one, you know, every, everyone knows his style. And two, he was the one who started in the, the pivotal movement of people doing the full cabs with like that half crank in the middle. That was the, everyone conned it, the Matt Reyes full cab. You know, I mean, I just, that's, I want to say, knows, everyone. I want to say it's Matt's fault that everybody did full cab nowheres. <laughs> he started the, he started <laughs> no, the plague. Full cab. He started the plague of just people full calving after they do anything, <laughs> which is fine. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that uh, th- I'm surprised you didn't say him. You know, that's 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 your boy. But um, yeah, I would say Matt. You know, his tuck nose. You know, his tuck nose were the he's, deepest. Of he's tuck, got tuck he's got beautiful sure. style. Everyone knows this. That's that's you know that has to be a fact. Um, my second would have to be just because I'm a fanboy over your boy. Um, with Devon Lawson, his bars is amazing. I love him and uh, always on he Devon. Has amazing bars. Always on Devon, and if I ever get to meet him one day, I might <laughs> shit myself. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, he um, he, res- he responded to your comment though. He does. <laughs> I fanboyed. I'm telling you. Uh, 
And okay, so this one, my last one is kind of a tie um, between. Did you get four? I didn't get four. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. It's like it's not a tie. Okay. Just okay. say the two. Oh, Just shit. say the last two. Ooh, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> fine, I'll find it. Fine. I'll say it. I'll say it because I think Jay's going to say my other pick. But I was going to say Elliot because Elliot mm. was definitely a big fucking push over a lot of shit like crank arms, IS 180s, and, you know, on top of majority of other things. His nose manuals, his Hank, Hank, oh, Hank Fives, Pro Fives. It's just- it's the steezy landing, bro. Uh, Elliot lands mad uh, steezy. I was going to say, it's not the tricks he does in this discussion. It's the style. And Elliot's got the fucking style. Mm-hmm. Bro, he got mm-hmm. the steeziest landings, mm-hmm. bro. The so, way he just like la- crouches so down as he rolls out on fixed is crazy. So it's like landing smooth. on BMX, but his pedals are moving too. It's crazy. So smooth. Uh, I got my... I've, I've remembered my last pick. It's Antonio. <laughs> yep. That was the other one I was going to say. <laughs> it's Antonio. I mean, come on. <laughs> Has to be. Has to be. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna cheat and give an extra list, though, because I, I listed two people who... Uh, or I listed two things. Like I listed Booth Beyond 7s, Joe on 7s. Uh, if I'm picking modern day uh, picks, it's Marco Marquez. Mm-hmm. My boy tested yes. Antonio. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the way uh, he spins. The way he spins. It's Ooh. Chase Davis. Chase fucking Davis. So smooth. I love his style. Beautiful. And uh, it has to be, yeah, Antonio is the third. And and a special shout out to Do. Like, Do rode so fast. <laughs> he rode way too fast. He rode so fast and so clean so clean not his 360s not that clean everything else though like his grinds and his bar spins and his nose manuals everything beautiful clean perfect uh beautiful beautiful (laughs) fucking love dudes riding ride your goddamn Uh, bike again yeah no i see actually just seen a clip from it was on bmx but he was riding his bike you, oh, aside from him being a dad and fishing and stuff like that, I saw a clip he, from him riding his bike, and I was. He do be living the dad fishing life. He do. He do be doing. Deacon, that. you wanted to give an extra one, right? Yeah. Give it to us. It's Matt. Matt Spencer. Oh, Matt Spencer. Because as, as TJ said, Tyler Johnson said, he doesn't pedal set. He just Matt, goes. dude. There's way too many. St- stylish riders to pick three i don't know why i said three and also also i'm i'm i want to give i i want to also give matt a shout out for holding the longest like no hander one hander one footer tricks like he he holds his fucking tricks longer than anybody else does he he also just rides transitions so well like he hits the biggest gaps makes them look easy and smooth and it's it's the type of shit he does where like a camera can't do it justice always. Mm-hmm. You know, it's that type of vibe. Uh, can I have a special shout out as well? Yeah. Uh, Matt Bastard, uh, new father. Congratulations, um, Dad Bastard. Matt Dad, Dad Bastard. Dad Bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt Matt always has the best nicknames. Like when he gets a flat tire, it's Flat Bastard. He has a dad, it's Dad Bastard. <laughs> and I, you know what's funny? I don't even know like why he started. Say, why why did like where did Bastard come from? Like his last name is Dizon. <laughs> we need the arc. We need the 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 training arc. We need the, the lore. Zone. We need to learn the lore Pixie behind lore. Matt Bastard. Matt Dizon, if you're. If you're listening, which I know you are, <laughs> where did Bastard come from? Please let us know in the comments below. Uh, we're under our fan. We're under our fan topic and final topic of the night. Uh, my boy Ismail from France. He's been killing it lately on his orange bike. Um, he asks, uh, "What's the best way to approach a spot or a skate park? Uh, you know, get into the mindset of us." We're getting into the mindset of, you know, we pull up to a spot or a skate park. How do we decide what tricks we're doing, guys? I'm going to exit this conversation. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to get clowned on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 pizza, go. Pizza, what, how do you decide what tricks no. you're doing? 
Yeah. No. <laughs> How do I decide from a very limited uh, pool of tricks to what trick I can do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> bro bunny hop is a trick you're just maybe you need to hear all the, how you hear out the conversation bro double peg's a trick <sighs> which rail are you hitting bro how do you decide which rail you hit <laughs> if it's small enough it's for me <laughs> honestly i i kind of just like like fuck around and i just i just see what's fun like i i've always like kind of wrote like that though it's just like not necessarily do like the biggest thing and maybe not even do the hardest thing just just do what i think would be the most fun to do the whole time and then normally that that gives you the confidence that you need to go do the bigger thing later on in the day because it's like sure. i'm i'm no j-ball you know i don't roll up to the 20 stair irvine rail and, and you know Go, oh yeah, bro! I got this first try. Let me let me do one roll up bro. so I get the pedal set and I just do it. What do you mean? You've hit I, you hit bigger rails than me, dude. And that's the other thing I think of is is doing doing shit that that is like the roll up or the you know not necessarily the trick is hard, but to get there to do the trick is hard. Like every single one of the rails I've hit is pretty much at like a no run up ninety degree <laughs> launch, like. That's not true. That's not true. I was going to say is like, uh, I remember seeing your mental, uh, your mental, like how to get it was we went to Torrance, me, you, and Jay, like when I first got back into it, you know, that Torrance rail, you were like sizing it up, but also sizing it up how high you had to hop with that rail that was like, I mean, the, the ledge that was like, like a little. Yeah, I, I cheat, you know, I warm up. Like I, yeah, I, I was I like, want to make sure watching. I got the hop. I, I got a fat boy pop, so <laughs> I, I don't really got the ups to, to like, I also go really slow, which, which sucks. No piece. No piece. No piece. No piece. <laughs> you don't got the uppies, bro. But I I go too slow, so I have to sort of like pick and choose what I do because of how slow I go. Whereas if I just went faster, it'd, it'd be way easier to hit bigger stuff. And I think do it's that. just thinking thinking of how to have fun doing stuff. Like, how do don't you, do um... the thing that everybody else has already done. You know, like if somebody else already feebled the ledge, and and you can do feebles all day, like maybe don't feeble the ledge. <laughs> How do go, you uh, go like hop on top of it? How do you decide what you can uh, put your back wheel on with your brake tray with your abubicas? I I look at the danger factor, and I estimate the danger factor to the to the how cool it looks, and it's it's always a you know it's a it's a give and take, because if it looks really sick, the danger factor it doesn't matter because you know like mm -hmm. looks sick, but if the danger factor is high, and then when you look at it and it it doesn't actually look that sick to do it, then I don't do it. I like that. I like that. You always have a you always have a unique uh, unique approach to spots, in my opinion. And I enjoy. I, I think it's just to entertain myself. It's it's not necessarily like a style thing. It's just I'm always just like that would be funny if I did that. So I'm gonna go try and do that. That'd be funny. <laughs> you would have had a, you would have had fun at a town park that we we're the really graffitied Ooh. up skate park that we were at, dude. That place looks so fun. It's really oh, sketchy. Yeah. Matt makes it look so fun. Him and Antonio make that park look so fun. It's real sketchy, and I think you would like it. It's very jibby. Um, oh, also shout out to Jackson and Privileged Bread for doing the, or it might have been Matt, doing the gap to Smith on the quarter pipe. That was sick. That was both of them, actually. Or it was Jackson. It was Jackson. That was that cool. Was that was sick. That's one of my favorite tricks too. Yeah, grind the sides of the shit. Grind shit that you're not supposed to grind, even at the skate park. Just go go do the shit that you're not supposed to do, and that's the shit that I'd probably comment on your video and go, that was dope. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I do enjoy Land in it. some stairs, ride up some stairs. I do enjoy that stuff too. While I while I don't necessarily ride like that, because I don't I don't have a third eye with my riding most of the time. Uh what I do do though is try to link as much as possible because i like uh i like combining tricks and and linking lines and you know if there's a you know never never doing anything flat whereas like you know i'm never wheelie 180 on flat i'm never never half cab barring on flat i'm always like if a half cab bar it has to be over something or off of something if i do a full cab or five cab it has to be over something or off of something and that's just the way I ride. I like to I like to see how many things I can I can group together in 
one like i'm trying to i'm trying to get my my special meter up i'm trying to get my combo meter up in tony hawk you know like you do the bar spin <laughs> over something and you hit the wheelie then maybe you go up a bank and do a bar spin then now you're rolling fakie you know that combo meter still going and now i'm looking around backwards i'm like is there something i can go off is there something i can go over <laughs> And then must be, must be real nice to have that skill level to be able to do all that. <laughs> you, you can. The most fucked up part is the most fucked up part is is homie can do all the other shit that we're doing, and he's just like, eh, I'm kind of bored of it. It's too easy. <laughs> That's not true. You do shit I can't do, Deacon. <laughs> what? Pick my nose and ride my bike at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, another way I'd try to look at s- spots or skate parks is, um, is there a bank to bank? If there's bank to bank, I 360 that every time. Cause I think it's fun. Abel does love the bank to bank. I love a bank to bank. And also I just love a, like, a, like, you know, flat drop, flat drop, flat drop. Cause there's so many combos you can do on it. And a mani pad, I can ride a mani pad all day. There's just so many things you can do on it. And All I right, just, what's pizza's answer? He already said. What? <laughs> I said. Uh, kind of. Know. He didn't really say. Uh, I just, I just roll up the spot and say, okay, uh, I got to do a couple tricks so that Deacon and Jay don't yell at no, me. No, you know what? Uh, I can okay. answer this for you because I'm the one who tells you what you do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> we you know yell at him. <laughs> yeah. Get a See? homie that yells at this you. This is how it is. This is how it is. I like, say, it, homie, would, homie would rather sit on his bike seat and watch and just do nothing than. Well, come than on. Go okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Give me this. Most people, okay, okay, it's different for me for for everyone else because I, I'm not the only one. Like Jay just said, oh, I'm gonna do a combo here. I'm gonna do a combo there. Combo, combo, combo. I'm gonna see on the watch to see what kind of fucking combo he does. And I mean, I'm, that's why I'm sitting there. I'm watching him fucking do combo on combo on combo of the shit I can't do. I'm watching a video game, you know. I, obviously, this fuck is way better than me, so I'm gonna watch. It. My <laughs> favorite my combo. combo he's done. Oh, good. Go ahead. My favorite J-Ball combo is the first one he normally does at, at the new skate park, and it's the 180 bar backlash bar out. <laughs> yeah. I, I do like that <laughs> trick. That's, that's that's the tester <laughs> trick. So if you ever see him post a clip of him doing that, just know that he he got something way better than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was off the car shit. Like he that's used that's the warm-up trick is the 180 bar backlash bar. <laughs> that, that I, you know, that is that do be the warm-up trick. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my tester i'm like okay what can i 180 bar backlash he's like yep the footing's right okay um i'm gonna i'm gonna do uh <laughs> three wheelie three now <laughs> yeah why do i feel like i'm being roasted <laughs> no never you're good two v one two shooters versus one day ball who would win <laughs> Two shitters or one beefy boy. <laughs> and then, you know, if I'm in the streets, if I'm in the streets, uh, how do I approach it? How do I approach a spot in the streets? Late. I don't know. Let's, let's. Late. Like, to, what was your thought process when you did the. For me, for me, I kind of noticed that you look at more stuff to grind, and I enjoy that. Because, yeah. cause, you know, like, I've been friends with you for a while, and you went from pegless 700, like, posi bottom bracket to 26, hopefully four pegs soon, because, <laughs> you know, it'll help you stop pinching your dropout. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. But, and it's cool, because, like, it's, like, it's, that's unlocking, like, a whole another side of riding for you. Yeah. Going, you know, I've, ever since I, I got on 26 and pegs, I've been like, yeah, I don't know about the pegs. You know, I might take them off eventually, but... I don't think that's the case anymore. I just, there's so many things you can do with pegs. Like it really opens up a lot of riding. I know that if you take the pegs off, you kind of have to think more critically about stuff. But if you are able to think critically and ride your pegs, you can do a lot of cool shit, especially in the streets and them streets, you know? Mm-hmm. And I like, uh, I like doing 180 Smiths way too much to take off pegs again. Because 180 Smiths are they come pretty easy to me which is nice because it feels like hard trick man 
this hard trick, man. Yes. Um, Break so your like, bike well, trick, man. What what I was gonna say, I was like, is you know, he asked how to how to set up how to roll up to a spot. One one thing I was gonna ask is, like, when you did the um the bar pegs on that long rail that you did in your edit, what was your thought process going into that? Just so we can get like a you know behind in the mind of J Bull, how you went up and like managed to sit get yourself on that rail and do that trick. Just you know, uh. I would, I you know, you know, it's kind of, it's a little, it's a little corny, but I, I visualize s- stuff like that a lot. You know, I'll like, you know, fall asleep in bed and think about it, and I, you know, you build it up so much in your head, and then it, if you build it up enough in your head and you see it in real life, you're like, oh, it's not that big. Like I did the same thing with El Toro. Like I was thinking about it, and in my head, it's like a fucking cliff. I'm jumping off a fucking cliff, and then you get in person, and you're like, oh, I fucking got that. And then I broke my foot, <laughs> and I did not. I did not have that. <laughs> but uh, as far as the bar pegs in my last edit, which I was very, I kind of surprised myself with that one because I, I don't know. I'm not the most technical grinder. There's people that are way have way better peg tricks than me, like Young Chase and Steven Jensen, Miguel. All these people are way better with pegs than me. But I just you you have to not. You know, I just talked about visualizing it, but then once you get there, you can't think about it too much, or else then you you psych yourself out. That's that's the secret. That's the secret. You it's do it before you get scared. <laughs> it's the three roll up rule. If you're gonna roll up more than three times, don't bother. Yeah, and <laughs> it's, once you that's the first time I'm hearing that. Once you break your well, uh, you don't listen anyway, so there's no point in telling you. <laughs> Well, th- you're listen like old now, dog, pizza. Bro. You, think you about just, that. You just kind of do what what pizza do. Think about that the next time you want to hit something, though, pizza. Like if you, the more times you roll up, the scarier it gets in your head. But uh, you break you have you have to break that barrier of like oh, okay, it's not that bad. Like the once I it took me a little bit to throw the bar. You know, I was hitting the rail over and over, mm-hmm. and I was like, fuck, I just need to throw the bar. And then that minute I threw that bar, I could throw the bar every time into that pegs because I'm like okay, this is the worst that'll happen. It's not that bad. And so. you did do that. Well, like, did you do that first try after you threw the bar? Um, no. I, swear you did, I, right? I can't remember what the sequence was like, but I think I threw the bar like eight times maybe. You know, I jumped over the rail a few times. I came up right, short right, a few times. Uh, right. I'll probably post okay. the raws from that edit pretty soon. So, yeah. Nice. You can see my, so. my process there. And I think it was a lot of me yelling at you and be like, not yelling at you, but me like, oh, come on, throw the bar. Cause I, I mean, that, I was the one behind the camera on that one. I remember telling you, all right, come on, Jay, throw the bar. Like, I feel like I was telling you the things that you tell me when I, when you're like, all right, throw the bar. Yeah. You know, so I think I was, I was doing the same. And <laughs> I was making you listen to your own advice. It, it helps. <laughs> we need to make a video, a, bre- a video of, of pizza's mindset. <laughs> the pizza <laughs> mindset. It's going to be pizza, dark. The pizza Sigma <laughs> grind set. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I want to see the, you know, like we need to mic him up and then film him at the spot and he's just, he's just standing there. You would Yo, be this is the trick it. I'm about to try. <laughs> it'll just be, it'll just be a, a hyper cut of pizza going, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. And then, like, and then, and then it'll cut to him looking at his bike and, and like trying to make it make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> or, or pizza, the pizza does the throw my bike when I get frustrated with myself. <laughs> Pizza. And also the self-deprecation is when I just say, "Fucking stupid! Come on, do it." That's what I do. Yeah, that's all you hear. But it'd be a fun, it'd be a fun little edit of all. The, probably be like an hour long edit. But <laughs> <laughs> isn't there? There's like some. I think Matt uh, Spencer put out a video of um, in, maybe Oscar Khan going like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck!" Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Over and over. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> like, oh, fuck. And then there's, I think there's one of Jacob Ruff somewhere too, where he's just yelling at himself for like five minutes. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I've seen that. One. That was a great video. I miss when Matt used to put out like, sh- like a uh, shit post video, <laughs> shit yeah. post edits. And you know what I think about a lot too is like how, um, like pro skaters and pro BMXers, you know, they'll take multiple days to get tricks. Like they'll try they'll grind something out for like three hours not get it 
go back the next day or two days later or something, grind it for three hours and not get it. Like at most, most fixed gear riders, like what an hour for a trick, like, Oh, in the grand scheme of things, we don't try that hard <laughs> compared to some of these like pro skaters and BMXers, but granted they're getting paid and we are not. So I would, I would try a little harder too, if I got paid. So yeah mm, maybe j balls money motivated if I, yeah if i paid you and the pizza trick, doesn't work bro pizza doesn't work i've told him i'd buy him food doesn't work hey it worked when he he got me to buy him a damn sandwich been damn chicken sandwich mm. at buns <laughs> it, didn't work. it did work on that was that night i got two tricks in let's go baby yeah which you didn't post bad boy motivation no because one was one was on the dad cam and then one was on Dude, My he's phone, saving you for his web edit, bro. He's saving you for his web yeah. edit, bro. Calm no, down. it was a feeble bar. For, it's, it was a feeble 180 advance, and you're like, oh, it's not good enough to post. Just post it on the story. Bro, post it on the... I've done, how many times have I done a feeble 180, man? It gets old. No one's no, seen it anymore. No, I've never it. seen that shit on the camera. People, I've never seen that shit on the video. People love it. People love that shit, brother. How are you going to do your number one fan out of here, out of here like that, bro? Yeah. How are you going to do him like that? You're you're letting out of here down. We want to see pizza content. All right, fine. Well, that means I gotta ride my bike more. Damn it. Well, we're riding Saturday. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. We're riding tomorrow, Bam. even if it is raining. Let's go. Oh, fuck it. I'll bring a jacket. Fuck it. Love dog. the new gloomy weather. <laughs> my bike's gonna ride like shit now. Unless it's <laughs> unless it's raining really hard. <laughs> Might have to think about it. All right. All right. We gotta. We got to get to bed. We're riding early tomorrow. So that's it for this episode of Off Track. Uh, I'm J-Ball, Deacon, Pizza Man. His name is Lucas, in case you didn't know. Uh, okay. and my name Lucas is Jonathan, Main. in case you didn't know. Because <laughs> we'd be going by His nicknames. name's J-Ball because he plays a lot of basketball. Make sure you ask him about his basketball skills. I think that's my least played sport. I have the <laughs> least hours in in basketball. That's why it's funny. That's why it's hee <laughs> ha meme. <laughs> Yeah, haha, ha, yeah. A uh, meme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, subscribe if you're on YouTube, please. Uh, you know, follow. Keep keep up to date on Spotify by following. I think you follow on Spotify. Is that right? Follow on Spotify. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Off Track, maybe with a guest. Who knows? Uh, take oh, care, oh. everyone. Adios. Bye bye now. Goodbye, have a beautiful time. <laughs>